Rebuilding Together and AARP present Home Safe, Do It Yourself. DIY home improvements for a safer, healthier, and more enjoyable home. Welcome to Rebuilding Together and AARP's Home Safe Do It Yourself video segment. I'm George Lindsay. I do the morning show at 100.3 The Bull. And today we want to talk to you about fire extinguishers in your house. They're so important for three big reasons. Keeping a fire under control, saving lives, and protecting your family and your home. And I'm lucky to have with me today, one of the experts we call on at the Houston Fire Department, Francis Tran is here. And uh, Fireman Tran, tell us a little bit about the importance of having a fire extinguisher. Thanks, George. Yes, um, it, it, is, it is very important to have a fire extinguisher in the house because most small fire that happens in the house, about 65% of it starts from the kitchen itself. So that is the, the area that people should have them. Should we do a little research maybe to know what type of fire extinguisher to have and where to have it? Yes, good question, George. There's uh, there's five different type of uh, fire extinguishers out there. It covers A, B, C, D, and K. But the most common one that you're gonna find, it covers A, B, and C in, in one fire extinguisher. A covers anything that you would throw away in the trash, like wood, paper, plastic. B will cover anything, flammable liquids, like your, your gas uh, for your lawnmower in the garage, and C would cover electronics. So Fireman Trent, this particular fire extinguisher goes in a couple of different places, I heard you say, where right. would that be? Right, so th this, this fire extinguisher, have it in your kitchen, in your garage, because this, this will cover anything that can burn in the kitchen and, and, and in the garage. Okay, so kitchen and garage, and I know this is kind of a difficult question, it changes with each scenario, mm -hmm. but at what stage should we put the fire extinguisher down and call the fire department? Where does that come in? Yes, be before, before you use a fire extinguisher, uh, you, you always want to call the fire department. That way you know the fire department is already on the way uh, if the fire gets out of control. I look forward to stepping down and trying this. But before we do that, maybe go over some of the information about where to store your fire extinguisher and how important that gauge is on the front. Yes, yeah, so the, the fire department, we do recommend you to store it uh, on a wall near an exit okay, um, in your kitchen. So that way, um, when, you, when you're running out, you know where, where it is. But a lot of time, we don't have it on the wall. Um, most of the time we have it um, in the pantry or underneath the sink. Mm -hmm. So we do recommend y'all once a month uh, to pick it up. That way you build up a muscle memory of where, where your fire extinguisher is at. Right. And also when you pick it up, check the gauge. Make sure it's, it's still in the green. Make sure uh, the hose is still intact. And also a lot of them, they have a date on the back. So we recommend y'all to replace fire extinguisher every seven years. Okay, so we're here to demonstrate how a fire extinguisher works. And I think this is the important part of it because not a lot of people ever go to this step. So there's a simple way, Fireman Tran, for people to remember. It's an acronym called PASS, P-A-S-S. -S. What does the P stand for? To pull the pin. There's a pin right here on the fire extinguisher that, that you will need to pull out. All right, and then the A. The A is to, to aim at the base of the fire. Okay, the first S. First S is to squeeze the trigger. The trigger is right here on top. And the final S in pass. It's a sweep. Sweep, okay, so Fireman Tran is gonna demonstrate how it works. You wanna pull the pin. Pull the pin. <clears throat> you wanna aim, aim at the base of the fire. Aim the fire squeeze. extinguisher, squeeze the trigger, and then sweep the base of the fire. All right, Fireman Tran, that was uh, interesting to see, especially, again, if you've never seen a fire extinguisher used. And one of the things that people may be concerned about, we saw the, the plume come up and out here it was windy. What about if some of the residue gets on you? Is that dangerous at all? No, it is, it's, it's safe. It's, it's bicarbonate, and if, if you get it on yourself or you, you breathe a little bit in, it's, it's fine. It's, it's non toxic. All right. Do you mind if I try it? Oh, yes. I've never fired or used a fire extinguisher. Let's try it. Very important information about why you need to have a fire extinguisher in your house, readily available, in your garage, readily available, all right? Fireman Tran, thank you for your expertise today. Appreciate it. And we encourage you to go to rebuildinghouston.org and sign up for a $50 gift certificate to Home Depot. And while you're there, you can download AARP's Home Fit Guide. I'm George Lindsay. I'm the host of 100.3 The Bulls Morning Show, and I'll see you on the radio.